All right, hi everyone, Moisa here, back with another video, and today we're going to be announcing the winner of my giveaway, and we're going to be doing a little bit of a reaction to nature. So, if you are just here for the reaction, please feel free to skip to this timestamp but for those of you who are just here for the giveaway first and foremost i want to thank all of you for entering we had about 20 entries which i'm really really happy about um and a lot of the people who actually entered have been subscribed for over the past few months there are a few of you who did enter who have only been subscribed for about a week but anyway let's get down to it the winner of this giveaway is Abigail Arnina, and I have known Abigail for actually a, a long time, so I'm really happy that you've won this. Um, you're a really, really great person, so I'm really excited. And in order to um, receive your prize, you have the next 48 hours, if I'm doing math right. So from the time this video is released to the time that my next video comes out on Saturday, to DM me so we can talk about what album you would like, talk about um, the gift card and the coffee shop gift card as well. And to make sure that it is actually you who was DMing me and not a random person who really wanted to win this, I don't think no one's gonna do that, but just in case, I will ask you in the DM to switch your um, comment and I'll tell you specifically what to add into it so that way I know that it's you and we can make sure that this transaction works really well. For those of you who didn't win and are primarily into K-pop, um, I did want to say that there is going to be a K-pop giveaway at the end of July or beginning of August, depending on my recording schedule. And so if you guys would like to win that, please keep an eye out during these K-pop reactions and maybe you'll find out. Maybe you'll be in the next reaction video. Who knows? But anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Now, for those of you who are here for the reaction, welcome. Um, I did say that there is going to be a giveaway for those of you who are into K-pop, so if you're interested in that, please continue to watch these videos, and I think I will be giving out opening up that giveaway at the end of July or beginning of August just because I have a very busy recording schedule. But anyway. <music> Foremost, do not comment on this outfit or this hair or this makeup because I legitimately just did all of this to record the giveaway winner. So I look a mess. I am aware I look a mess. Mom, dad, don't tell me I look a mess. So, let's just get right into girls. Okay, this did come out yesterday. Ooh. Dark concept. Yes. Ooh. Wow. The first scene gave me Dreamcatcher. The music gave me G-Idol Senorita. This is so mature for them. Like, they mostly have cutesy songs. This is so, like, grown up, evolved. That hair looks so good on them. Can I? Can I say if this is my new favorite song from them? It's just like, it's so different. <gasps> yes. Yeah. Oh, and this like little creepy Dreamcatcher vibe. Oh, wow. Everyone learning this point. Oh. That side profile, so much like Fossa. Mm, I like that.
it's so, so much more material It's so beautiful too. I don't know why this feels like more cinematic than normal. And I like the muted colors because I know they normally do very bright colors and this is just more calming to look at. This is like Dreamcatcher's three-part series, but less dramatic. Wait, you can't do that. You can't do that. I, I think this is my favorite comeback to date. I think they just get better every comeback. There's not one comeback by nature that's been like, eh. Like it's all they're always one upping themselves. From like I'm so pretty to girls has been such a transition, like such a very different vibe, but it works for them. Like there's not one style that they do that you look at and you go, What is this? Who did this? Sorry for making weird faces. I do that sometimes. But yeah, I really enjoyed this. Like, I want to go back and listen to it. I want to know if this is a full album or a single release. Um, I only own one Nature album, and that is their debut. And I ordered, and I actually got that because it was on sale. And they hadn't blown up yet. And I was like, why not? And then I got the album. And now, like they are coming back every time and every time they come back it's always better and it's always just more mature or more elegant or better produced and like there's nothing about nature that i dislike i like that they experiment with music i enjoy they're actually trying to think out of the box and even though they are still in the same realm as other girl groups they're actually doing a little bit something different or they're mixing mediums and it's I think that's one of the reasons that I also really like Dreamcatcher. If you don't know, I am a big Dreamcatcher fan as well. And I feel like they remind me of Dreamcatcher, but like a younger, newer, less creepy version of Dreamcatcher. And I love it. I really do. I'm gonna act I'm actually on Amazon already. <laughs> My mom's gonna hate me. Cause like I told her I was gonna save money. But like also K-pop. <laughs> I feel like save money and K-pop are not in the same realm. Like not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. Like my bank account hurts. Hurts. But anyway, I do love all the scenery. I love the simplicity of it, but it also feels very cinematic. It feels like they're telling you a story. So even if you don't speak the language, you're kind of getting the vibe and you're kind of putting the pieces together. And I love that little sleuthing aspect for us who don't speak Korean or understand Korean to kind of look at the song as a way to understand everything. And that's why I think it's so important that videos are really well done. And I think that's why I really enjoy K-pop just because like their videos tell you what's going on. And there's like little details that they add that make like the viewer feel just more interested. And I feel like they did that really well in this comeback. Because last comeback, I was like, oh, they're gonna do a continuation. This one. Where's the correlation? I mean, you could say they went from like pink to red. I'm going to rewatch their last comeback and actually compare to this comeback and see if there was a correlation. If like this is a continuation kind of thing. Because it seems very dream-esque. Because I remember I'm So Pretty, they had like the tails and there was like the changes in outfit and sceneries. And this one, 
feels like they're in an asylum. They feel like a little insane. I'm not saying they're insane, but their characters have very like insane traits, like the scissors and the glass. But then there's like the very delicate side with like the um, flowers and there's a lot of different pieces and I want to try to understand. <laughs> but anyway, I'm ranting. Outfits. Love them. Girls. I don't even have a bias for nature because like I can't, I can't yet. Okay, I can't yet. It's gonna take me some time. Maybe next comeback I'll finally have a bias. But anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. My giveaway winner, if you are still here, I will be waiting for your message. And that's it. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.